Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to a new episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be customizing my very own pair of sneakers. I'm here at Artista Studios, Singapore's first sneaker art jamming studio. Here they run workshops and teach you how to customize your own pair of kicks. Everything is included in their workshop. They provide you with a pair of sneakers, special leather pants and a wide range of stencils. You can even customize your own stencils by sending them the image beforehand. I brought Zen along to join me in today's workshop. First we tried on our sneakers to make sure they fit. After that we're ready to start on our designs. As always, I like to look for inspo on Pinterest. I was tossing up between this flower design, all these cute orange patterns. I ended up choosing the oranges cause it looked easier to do. Now to select our colors. They gave us these little paint containers to pour our colors into. The paints we'll be using are leather acrylic paints which work best on sneakers. You don't have to worry about it washing off if you get caught in the rain. Now let's get painting. I'm starting off with the middle panel of my shoe, painting a thin coat of this nude color as the background. It's normal for the first layer to look streaky and a little bit patchy as three layers are needed for an opaque finish. After my first layer, I use a hairdryer to speed up the drying process as well as distract Zen as she's working on her masterpiece. This is how the first layer looks once it's dried. Now I'll paint on the second and third layers. To speed things along, I've acquired the help of my trusty cameraman, aka Alfred. Look at his blow drying skills, he's truly a pro indeed. Beside me, Zen is working on the front panel of her shoe. She's doing a mismatch design with the different shades of pink. For the back panel, she's painting on black and grey. After that, Zen chooses her stencils. Look at all the cool designs they have. She ended up choosing these cute clouds. Now, if you're not confident in freehanding your design, stencils are the way to go. They're really easy to use. You just have to stick them on, apply some heat, then peel off the transparent film and you can start painting. Once that's dry, simply peel off the stencil to reveal your design underneath. Look how cute these mismatched clouds are. 
Okay, back to my shoe situation. I thought I'd be courageous and hand paint my oranges. After all, they're just small circles, right? How hard could it be? As I'm waiting for Alfred to dry my circles, I decided to paint the back panels of my sneakers orange. After I was done building up the layers, it's time to paint in the details. This is where I started questioning my life. Even though these were just little triangles, it took a lot of patience and concentration not to stuff them up. Also, I had my work cut out for me as I needed to paint four panels worth of triangles. Gah! Finally, I can add in my finishing touches with the stems and leaves. For Zen's shoe, she was smart and efficient sticking with the stencils. She used these heart-shaped stencils on the back and side panels. It gave her the perfect shape and her hearts were oh so crisp. Crisp. Once we were done with our sneakers, the staff helped us clean up any mistakes we made with acetone and then they sealed off our designs. Voila! Our custom sneakers are done. What do you guys think? This was a labor of love, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Can't wait to rock my one of a kind sneakers. After all, who doesn't love wearable art? Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my channel. Plus don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future episodes. That is it from me. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye.